So as far as I'm concerned, I think that uh, Bell for Adano is a, an excellent book, one that is well worth reading and a very, very good story. We find that that uh, book is on a great many high school lists of all kinds. I do think, just as uh, did Mr. Black, that this is entirely too adult for most eighth graders. I have known a few eighth graders in my career as a children and young people's librarian who might uh, enjoy the book, and I feel sure that there are individual teachers and that there are individual parents that might occasionally want to give that book to a child. And looking back on the book, it's been some years since I've read it. I do not remember any sensational scenes whatsoever. Now, usually when this happens, it means that whatever scene uh, might have been a little on the sensational side fitted so well into the text of the book that it could not have been put in there only for the sensational value. I don't think it could have been an honest book uh, telling of the army of occupation without showing how the soldiers got involved with the entire citizenry and this automatically would include uh, romances between some of the people and uh, probably some of the girls in the village. I do think that most eighth graders would be better off if they waited until they were adults to read the book. I think of Bell for Dono, I think of a story of it's rather warm uh, to display the generosity of American soldiers during the Army of Occupation. The story itself has the, the flavor of soldier language, and this might be offensive to some people. There are situations I think that might be a little adult. Personally, I wouldn't give the book to an eighth grader. However, there are individual eighth graders who might read the book with a great deal of profit. It is an adult book. It is a good book, and uh, as such, I think, is one that many people can read with profit. When I think of the book, I remember a very vivid passage describing the returning Italian prisoners of war and how when they came into the town, the whole populace turned out and greeted them. This is one of the moving passages in American literature for me, and this is what I think of when I think of um, Belfort Donno, and it may be for this reason that an individual might recommend this book to an eighth grader. Oh, I also think of a very uh, moving story, but I also think of something else because um, we are concerned with the purchase of, of uh, books for our young adults. Ms. Ray, do you feel the book could have been honest without the so-called sex passages? Well, frankly, Mr. McClellan, since I don't remember them any better than I do, I, they must have been a part of the book and such an integral part of the book that I don't feel like that they could have been to anything too sensational about them. So I would say no, that it, they must have been honest and they should have been included.
Belford Dono is essentially an adult book. There are many passages in here I feel that are priceless and outstanding in American literature, especially the scene of the returning Italian war veteran.